Hello everyone. In this video, we will deal about numerical of test of inconsistency. So the question is test the consistency of 22 years of data of annual precipitation measured at station A a rainfall data for station A as well as average annual precipitation of 8 neighboring stations are as follows this question was asked in Purma Pokhara University 2019 spring so um, there are 22 years of data uh, so we have to test the consistency of station go station a so uh, we collect the data of eight neighboring stations uh, the average of this eight neighboring stations so this is the given data from 1946 to 1967 uh, this is the precipitation at A at station A and this is the uh, average of it um, station in this year so um, I will do this in Excel so this is the question so uh, we need to convert this in um, reverse chronological order uh, this is from 46 to 67 this is in chronological order so we need to convert it in reverse chronological order that means from um, latest to oldest so precipitation and evidence that means this is the question so I copy the question Control C and paste it over here mm. to reverse it mm. it is short custom sort and my data do not have header so sort by column a this is column a from largest to smallest and no from largest to smallest sort by column a so okay so from 67 to 46 let me check um, in 67 it is 163 161 and in 1946 it is 177 143 in 1947 144 132 and in 1966 130 146 so accumulated rainfall that is equals um, this in this first row and in second row accumulated rainfall is this 163 plus second it gives 293 and in third row this 293 plus this third 137 293 plus 137 this is uh, 430 and similarly you can do 3380 correct so accumulated rainfall at 8 station that means in first it is um, 161 and in second it is this 161 plus this uh, 146 gives uh, 307 and in third that is 207 plus 
this thought 130 let me check um, 161, 247, 437. Similarly, it is uh, 580. Similarly, 580 plus this 135 is 715. So, by this process, we get accumulated rain for 3220. So, um, in graph uh, this accumulated rainfall at each station should be in x-axis and this should be in y-axis this accumulated rainfall at a because um, independent value should be in x-axis so this is independent and this dependent value is um, station a so dependent value this is dependent on this so this should be kept in y axis so I can copy this to here so that it will be easier for me so now uh, the formula is also copied so 3380 here should be 3380 because formula uh, it copy the formula so um, control Z again control D only text where is text yes this is formula this is no border this is no source column this only value it is 3380 so this let me bold it or not let me bold it let me select this two column to draw graph so in where is graph i think in, in sort and chart mm, this chart mm, So the heading is the heading is test of inconsistency. T E O S T test of in con sis T E N C Y inconsistency. Mm. Uh, it have also title so this is this title is what is the why accumulated rainfall at each station Accumulated rainfall at it is the sun, and this is in the x axis. So, this is in this is y axis, y axis accumulated rainfall at a station at a station. A station and here just copy how to copy mm. this 
Thank you, seeds. Accumulated. Rain. Fall. At. Eight. Stations. A station and eight stations. So let me increase the size. So this data we have taken from Excel. Uh, this is in the year we have changed in reverse chronological order. That means from latest to oldest uh, this is the value given in position and this accumulated rainfall at station A in year 1967 that is 167 163 and 163 plus 130 that is 293 and 293 plus 137 430 430 plus 130 560 Similarly, um, in this uh, 161 taken from here, 161 plus 146, 307, 307 plus 130, 437, 437 plus 143, 580, and similar, and so on. Uh, so from data level more option so value from cell data select data from label range this is the point is this now so from here to here this is the point so okay value from so label is on so at above so at above uh, so this is 1967 this is 1966 this is 1965 uh, by visual inspection uh, this is straight from 1955 and uh, the slope slightly increases from 1955 so we can draw straight line from 1967 to So this is the graph mm. from 1955 the slope is this and from 1955 the slope slightly changes slightly increases so uh, we can see that in 1955 from 1955 slope changes so uh, there is inconsistency In question we have to uh, test the in test the consistency so uh, we can say um, this the station a is inconsistent from 
So thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe.